kind of testy weather we're having here at the beginning of October. In fact, it's the Thanksgiving long weekend and a lot of people would be out here right now, but because of it, the weather that is, a lot of people have gone home. That leaves great opportunity for us. I'm here with my brother Max, sister-in-law Thais, my cousin Ryan, and my dad Alan. We're heading out here into the Killarney backcountry to experience October's best. The rain, the cold, and the wind. And of course, the beautiful fall colors. There's a crazy storm system happening around us right now. In fact, I think we're gonna be hit by the brunt of it. So expect some crazy rain over the next couple days as well as maybe even drop them below freezing. We brought a ton of gear out in order to help keep us comfortable. Here, Misery loves company, so glad we uh, at least have some of that. It was a tough haul getting out here. Really big day. But uh, looking forward to this trip, even though it's gonna be a challenging one. It's beautiful out here, so. <sighs> but I'm exhausted. Good night, guys. See you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Rain all night, nonstop. We're not moving today, so we've got all the time in the world. Swirly mess of constant wind and going around and around, and we're getting the wind on one side of it. It's like a hurricane, except not as bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it feels like to me. Yeah, and we got white caps on our little lake, which is pretty profound. It's like a low pressure system that's just uh, coming up from a tropical storm down in the south and it's now it's just sitting on top of us pretty much and giving us giving us the business. <laughs> giving us the full treatment. <laughs> and you know what that hot tent that Thais said that we should bring and I was thinking, oh it's so much work. It's so good to be in the hot tent on a day like today. Get yourself a cup because we got hot water. Yeah, just looking at the weather, I can just already tell that we're not going to move today. No yeah. chance we're moving today. It's raining. It's hovering around zero degrees right now. You can feel it. The rain, like, lands on you and it just wants to... It's like just at the point of frosting over. It's quite miserable, but... You know, in the chaos, it's also very beautiful. I've been sitting in the hot tent all morning. It's uh, kind of the day to do that. We've got a lot of maple, nice hardwood to burn on the stove, but at some point I feel like we're gonna need some more, so I'm in the hunt for just that. <laughs> Nothing like a nice wet walk in the woods, you know? Ahoy! Ahoy! Oh, you got a piece? You got some good stuff. We got it stashed over here. Oh, good. Yeah, this is great. Lovely. It's got bark on it, but if we split it, should be good. Sweet. Yeah, I got enough. So. Great. across the lake here and just like all the campsites we saw coming in and as we saw in reservations nobody's there no bookings quite peculiar on a, on a Thanksgiving long weekend I wonder why that is your fresh trout when you're uh, out here doing that kind of stuff. Yeah, unfortunately these lakes we can't fish on. So I just got a weather report on the inReach connected to my phone. 100% chance of rain today and tomorrow morning, but it looks like it'll clear up in the afternoon at some point.
raining for We lucked out. <laughs> Lucky us. Chewy. How is it? <laughs> Good? Hundred percent chance of rain on the forecast into tomorrow at some point. So we're gonna be uh, kind of keeping it low key and doing probably what we did today for a little bit of tomorrow. And because of that hundred percent chance of rain tomorrow, there's also a hundred percent chance of sleeping in. So. Uh, <laughs> So uh, I'm going to bed. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I slept great. I've got like 11 hours of sleep. <laughs> it's been raining for two days now. Pretty wild. You don't usually get this kind of rain here in Ontario, so it's really unique. It's like it hasn't stopped at all, not for a second. Good morning. Good morning. That's enough fire. I can't remember when I've experienced like 36 hours of constant drizzle here in Ontario before. It's never happened to me. <clears throat> and it might have just stopped. And it might have just stopped. Yeah, I'll take I'll take this I'll take this little bit of like brightness and lack of rain. First time in like 36 hours, and also the the winds down. Just yesterday it was. This is actually nice paddling right now. This is great paddling. Mm -hmm. Right now, high five my dad. And high five uh. Max. And high five Ryan. Dad, you high five me. <laughs> high five Max. I high five Ryan. Now Ryan, you high five my dad. And now you high five Max. And now Max, you high five my dad. Okay, now all four of us. <laughs> The wind and the rain's finally let up, so we're making moves. We are packing up to head on to a different camp, same lake, different view. I think we're all looking forward to uh, a change of scenery and uh, being out of the hot tent, <laughs> as nice as that was. So, short little paddle and then we'll be in a new location. What do you guys think? Oh, this place sucks. <laughs> you want to go home? I want to go home.
sir. Oh yeah, Ryan? Really do enjoy these easygoing trips where you don't have to really be anywhere, especially anywhere in a hurry. Gives you ample time to just stop, look around, and enjoy yourself. <laughs> We're definitely enjoying ourselves out here today. Yeah, no, I know. Well, I, I will in a minute. I'm just going to eat my first one. You got some moisture in. It needs to be higher on the right. How do you like the hammock, though? I love it. You have a good night's it's sleep last night? Such, such a nice sleep. It's complicated to get into with the sleeping bag and the... Uh, and the um, uh, liner. Call it? The, the liner, yeah. Um, but I figured it out, and it's nice not to be on the ground. Really nice not to be on the ground, especially in these wet conditions. And... I love how comfortable it is. It's like so much more comfortable than being on the ground. The downside is you can't have all your stuff around you, but there's a nice convenient spot to put my water bottle and there's a nice overhead light there when I want it. And it's worth it not to have to uh, be sleeping in the water. Like Ryan was last night. Like Ryan was last night, yeah. Looks a little damp in there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is my uh, my residence here, uh, my cousin Dylan's tent, which uh, he's kindly let me borrow for the trip. Uh, it was a couple wet nights in a row, but uh, drying it out for tonight, so it's doing the trick for sure. Did you have a good night's <laughs> sleep though? Oh yeah, yeah, slept uh, very well. Tell me about the sleeping pad. Um, yeah, it's like probably two or three times thicker than any other sleeping pad I've ever uh, used. So it was like sleeping on air is very comfortable. No roots, no rocks to speak of. Um, yeah, I slept like a baby, probably 11, 12 hours total. So yeah. <laughs> Great, man. Yeah. Yeah. Camp's all set up. We've got the Nor tent drying out. We're probably not going to use it because it doesn't look like rain for a little bit. Ryan's up here in the little tent. Max and Thais over here in the MSR. My dad's in the Amic. I'm down here in the Z Packs. Beautiful park we have all to ourselves. So nice. Luxury. Oh, come check out the new canoe. So, originally, we were supposed to have two more of my brothers come on this trip, but unfortunately, they couldn't make it. They have lives, whatever that means. I'm just kidding, they got work and stuff. But I picked up another canoe from Novacraft. This one's a 17 footer. My, uh, my red canoe scratches 15 feet. Patches is a 16 foot prospector. This one's 17 foot. Got the mesh seats, knee pads, and uh, I have it set up for having a, somebody in the bow or you can solo it. Reason why you'd want a 17 foot boat is well, the capacity, it's a great tandem boat and you can just like haul a lot of gear. 15 footer is good for single person, 16 footer is good for two or one, but it just lacks the capacity of something like a 17 foot boat. So that's kind of why I went with the 17 foot boat in order to go on longer trips with, uh, with a partner. Oh yeah, and she doesn't quite have a name yet. So uh, leave a submission down in the comments. Most upvotes is the new boat's name. <laughs> good luck. Welcome to the fleet. When we first got here, when mm -hmm. people fell in, down <laughs> the water.
Outside. So, so nice. nice to be so back good. outside out of our tent. Yeah, we were. It felt like we were two full days in the tent. But that's <laughs> not true, but you know, it was a long. It was time. one full day. It was one 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 day and a quarter in the tent. Five men in a four man tent. Yeah. Like here lives, and this is where the elephant resides. All about convergences and synergizations, yeah. and optimizing for team efficiencies. Mm -hmm. You gotta meet here and then circle back. And then we'll have like... And unpack yeah. everything. Because if we circle back, then we'll... Circle forward. It, you have to you gotta stick it so, stick something hard because uh, there's a plug. God. I'm filming dad. Yeah, I'm filming dad. No, I'm filming dad. <laughs> I'm filming dad. I'm filming dad. <laughs> Boys, I'm going to take you out the back and give you a whooping. <laughs> All right. Thais cooked a wonderful meal, spaghetti, ground beef, onions, and Parmesan with a bit of Tabasco on it. Oh, yeah. That place, Thais. Good job. Good job, guys. Three mm -hmm. cheers for Thais. Hip hip. Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray. After all that rain and overcast that we've been having, the sky finally cleared up to a beautiful array of stars. I saw two extremely bright shooting stars in the last few minutes. It's a perfect night out here. Well worth hunkering it in for for the last 30 hours. I can speak for everybody on that one. Ever have winter green? Yes, I have. Ryan, you want to try some winter green? Sure. Yeah. Do you want me to bring it to you or do you want to come grab some? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want some? Yes, I do actually. I'll come get some. Yeah, yeah. How do you know they're not poison berries? Well, there's nothing that looks like it, but I'll show you. The way that you know it's winter green, well, there's a. I've never seen anything that even looks like winter green actually. So the leaves, see how it has the petals? Yeah. They come back in on themselves, make little hearts. You can take that. And you can also break up the leaves and it smells like winter oh, green. Break up the leaf and... Oh yeah. Yeah, you know that scent, eh? You know it's winter green because... The leaves come back, the little lines in the leaves, they come back on themselves. Make little hearts. It's kind of hard to see. The berries, I've never eaten them. Mm. You can eat berry, eh? Can you chew the berry? It's good. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, you eat the berries. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's a berry's pretty good. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't know you could eat the berries. We're uh, gearing up for a hike. It's around noon. Looking forward to being in the woods. Uh, creeps in about. So we had all day to do what we wanted. It was a 
beautiful day so we got up and uh, made our way through the woods through uh, some creeks up some valleys over some hills and uh, just made our way up to the top of one of these beautiful quartzite mounds here in Killarney it was such a nice hike the, the leaves and all the little nooks and crannies of uh, the park were absolutely gorgeous and to be on top of it here on uh, whatever this mountain might be called if you can even call it a mountain is uh it's a nice feeling one two three yay <laughs> looking across into georgian bay and seeing all the lakes of killarney is it's special it's special especially this time of year when the fall colors are just popping a little cold up here so i'm glad we all brought some extra clothing Unfortunately, I forgot uh, the wraps, so we just ate uh, salami and cheese out of our hands, but it's just part of the game, you know? <laughs> yeah, good place to be. See some pretty intense rain on the horizon. It's time for us to head down. All right, it's my turn to cook dinner. We are doing world famous campfire pizzas with the naan bread, the cheese, the salami, the green onions, the one you guys all know and love. Great. Mmm, yeah. Mm. Good, okay, well. Campfire pizzas, they titillate the heart and the soul. Cheers. <laughs> Lots of fun going for that hike. Beautiful views. Fun that my dad got a booter. Dad, you got a booter? Right up to the past the knee. And the stream was only two feet wide. <laughs> I thought, oh, I stepped right in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, yeah, classic, eh? Sucks to have happen to you. But. Kind of funny when it happens to somebody else anyways it's kind of late and i'm four pizzas full so going to bed see you tomorrow slept in again and another lazy morning we've been just so relaxed on this trip nowhere to be nowhere to go um been an awesome pace been wonderful hanging out with everybody and uh, so far it's been uh, great for the soul. We're gonna get things all packed up in our bags, head out to another location and uh, sightsee, meander, and just enjoy ourselves along the way. All right, tell me about it. Like he, well, he, he wandered out of the woods. He probably was coming for a drink and then uh, he saw a couple canoers and had to make like a tree and... <laughs> he took off? Yeah, took off back into the woods.
Just had a quick bite on the portage into Osa Lake. We're just gonna walk the port, go check out what the lake looks like because we hear it's quite beautiful. I'm out of breath. A mild rainbow right there. What an interesting day. For a day that had 0% chance of rain, it sure has rained quite a bit. <laughs> You can see the end of the rainbow. I've never seen the end. That's just, that's actually crazy. I've never seen the end of the rainbow before. Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. I've never seen that. <laughs> so cool. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> and it's gone. Irish luck in Killarney. I've never seen that before. That was that was really special. My dad got a marvelous picture of the bear. Proof. That's a bear for sure. Anybody could tell. It almost looks like a gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks like... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good shot. <laughs> That's right. National Geographic ain't got nothing on me. It's been a relaxing day of paddling today. We basically meandered most of Lake Killarney. Not sure where this lake is, but this is one before George, and we have a quick 50 meter portage to get back to George, where we're gonna be camping tonight. That's the same lake as our uh, put-in, so. As I remember, it was quite beautiful. Looking forward to that. This was above water when we got here. This is where I pulled out on the way in. Water's probably gone up seven, eight, nine, ten inches.
my dad Max are across the lake trying to get firewood, so I'll set up my dad's hammock tent for the night. Oh yeah, you definitely got enough wood. Well, um, the first, anyway, we're hoping it's there's gonna be enough dry stuff in there. You started setting up your hammock. Yeah, that was my best dump of the whole trip right there. And not because it was that satisfying, it was just such a nice place. Yeah, wow. Yeah. The base is true north. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, you know, right there, that's a winner. If you look at the stars as you poop. Beautiful. And contemplate life. Yeah. And if you're lucky, it'll be a good load. <laughs> My dad's tending to the fire. Thais is just cooking us up a big meal. Not sure what Max was doing back there. He's probably just getting ready for uh, the night, but uh, Ryan and I are laying on our backs by the fire and uh, looking up at the stars because they're quite remarkable tonight. So, pretty chill night. Nice to be out of the rain. So nice to be out of the rain. Okay, I'm about to pass judgment. Lots of pine needle in this meal. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I guess we can soak up that fire, eh? Oh, yeah, that hits the spot. That's delicious. Oh, man. That's cold. Watch out, there's water in there. Good morning, everyone. Time to get up and start the day. My dad was right. This is a pretty world class experience. How's your trip, man? Awesome. So much fun. Have a good time? Oh yeah. Yeah, looking forward to the next one. Better than BC? Ah, uh, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's a close one. I'll get back to you on that one. <laughs> have a good trip? Yeah, great trip. Totally dynamic. Lots to see. You know? Really enjoyed hanging out with family. Nice Zoom work. <laughs> hey, how was your trip? It was good. Good trip. Very nice. Uh, weather started out bad and got good, and that was good. Have a good trip. I had a fantastic trip. Really, really good trip. Thank you for inviting me. I'd love to come again sometime. Absolutely. Go. Cool. Just packing up here at our last camp. Nice, easy going morning as per usual. Though we did wake up a lot earlier than normal. One last little send off for the trip, and that'll be climb this guy. Looking forward to that. The very last blueberry of the year. Oh, there's another one. The very last two blueberries of the year. Dad, come share a blueberry with me. Oh, sweet. Okay. Grab one. Oh, I'm gonna take the small one. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> nice, still good. Mm-hmm. 
What a great way to end the trip up here on this mountain overlooking Killarney Park. What a beautiful place. And we got pretty lucky with reservations because this place books up because it's obviously very beautiful. And as people decided to leave and cancel the reservations because of the rain and the weather, we came in with all our gear and all that gear definitely helped us get through those early windy, rainy days. But it wasn't just the gear that helped, it was obviously the wonderful company because getting to spend that misery with good people kind of gets you through that funk. Great trip overall and it was so nice to be able to uh, share all that with them. In any case, we have a quick 20, 30 minutes down from here and another 40 minutes paddle to the pullout. So I'm gonna wrap this up here. I really hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.